Welcome to Birmingham General Cemetery, a Grade 2 star listed cemetery located in Birmingham's historic jewellery quarter. Known now as Key Hill, it was opened in 1836 by a group of non-conformist businessmen, that is those who are not members of the Anglican faith. It was Birmingham's first non-denominational cemetery, the object being to provide a burial ground which would be open to those of all religions and faiths or none. Key Hill holds a range of intriguing catacombs and a wealth of funerary monuments, on which are recorded many of Birmingham's famous and influential residents. With stories as diverse as that of Shakespearean actors, Victorian poets, industrialists, politicians, radical preachers, the first female journalist and the inventor of egg-free custard. Many of these residents were essential in the establishment of George Dawson's civic gospel, the ethos of which was an ambitiously inclusive culture where everything should be for everybody. This movement helped the people of Birmingham create a reputation as a trailblazing modern city. In partnership with the Everything to Everybody project, we would like to tell you more about these Victorian do-gooders. Murray Bethel Beauclerk is buried close to George Dawson here in Section I of Key Hill Cemetery. Born in London in 1845, she left school at the age of nine and began to teach herself shorthand out of a manual. On her thirteenth birthday, she and her mother moved to Birmingham, where she continued her shorthand studies via post with an instructor from Bath. At the age of 18, Beauclerk was employed for two months as a scribe for a touring phrenology lecturer visiting Birmingham. Her skills impressed George Dawson, who was at the time the editor of the Birmingham Morning News. He employed her as a shorthand reporter, making her the first female shorthand newspaper reporter in England. She reported on many conferences and lectures, as well as recording the majority of Dawson's sermons and lectures, making up nine volumes of his ideology. Without her efforts, much of Dawson's work would likely be lost to time. Beauclerk was engaged by numerous other highly respected lecturers and preachers visiting Birmingham due to her impressive reputation. She was appointed teacher of phonography, both at the Peribar Institute and the Birmingham and Midland Institute, a position she held for 14 years. She once again became a pioneer in 1888 when she was appointed as a teacher of shorthand in rugby school, making her the first female teacher at a public boys' school in England. Along with shorthand, she taught dancing and calisthenics. Beauclerk established a shorthand writers' association in 1887, and she was credited with introducing typewriting to Birmingham. Her papers on phonography in Birmingham were delivered as lectures and are now kept at the University of Bath. In a male-dominated world of reporting and shorthand type, Beauclerk set an impressive example of female abilities and helped open the way for future female stenographers. Beauclerk died on 19th September 1897, aged 53. Her tombstone reads, This stone was erected by the members of the Church of the Saviour, Birmingham, in grateful recognition of her services, by which many of the prayers, sermons and lectures of the late George Dawson have been preserved. I hope you have enjoyed this brief insight into the people buried here in Key Hill Cemetery. If you'd like to learn more about the people buried within Key Hill or Warstone Lane cemeteries, or if you want to find out more about the Everything to Everybody project, you can go to links in this video's description. If you'd like to help us to continue with our work, you can donate to the Jewellery Quarter Research Trust's GoFundMe page. The link is in the description and all the proceeds will go towards the production of more virtual tours.